All right, open up weak auras panel. Spell it right first. Um, go to new, choose which type of an aura you want to set up. We're going to use an icon for this. You can move the icon wherever you want. In the corners, you can drag it to make the size different, whatever shape you want. Place it wherever you think it's going to work well for you. Don't want it interfering with bars and such, so just set it up wherever you want it so you can see it up here in the left-hand panel or left-hand field of the options window. You're going to want to name it. I already have an Enrage, so we're going to name this one Enrage 2. Hit Enter. All right, it's set up and ready for configuration. If you look on the display tab, you got multiple tabs. Yours may look different because I have a different UI that changes the colors, but you have different tabs up at the top in the right-hand field on display. Um, text position. Now, this is the timer. This is the actual numbers that will show for how much time is left. I set mine in the center and then max the size out. So it's as big as possible or I don't have to stare at it to see how much time it is. I can just see it with my peripheral vision next to my character. So um, center, size as big as you can get it. Next thing we want to go to is, nope, actually we want to go here, text. Now if you put your cursor over it and you can see it's percent %P, percent %T, N, and etc. Just look at the description for what you want it to show. What I want it to show is remaining time. So we're going to want to type in here percent %P and then hit enter or OK. Now it'll show the timer in the icon if you look at the icon. There you go. Now to trigger. Type. We're going to want to leave it on Aura. You have custom event status. If you're looking at the status of a skill that's going to come back if you're wanting to do something so it shows um, when it's available. Like uh, for me, like recklessness or bloodbath, etc. You'd set it up on status. But we're just going to do when a buff is on us and the specific buff we're doing, of course, is Enrage. So you want to set it up on Aura. The next thing is name or ID of the Aura. So it is Enrage type it in, type it in properly or it won't show. It searches the game database to find it. Type in Enrage, hit OK. Aha! That looks right. It found it. So, unit that you want it to show for? Of course, yourself. You can set it up, set things up for other people, but you're doing this for yourself. It is a buff or a type. Remaining time. don't have to click that it'll show it anyway now since we've got this set up go to load you want it to show if you want it to show an in combat you can show in combat I'll set it up to show in combat because I don't like stuff cluttering up my screen it's for yourself so you don't have to go through all that player class so if you play your warlock instead of your warrior I would probably set it up on that you don't want it saying that your warlock's recklessness is available Enrage or whatever you're doing. Talent specialization, um, you can choose that. Talent specified, you can drop down and tell it what tier and what number in the tier. And that should be it for this type. Let's test it, close it out, let's go get in combat. <laughs> Killing my frames per second using this video recorder. Alright. There we go. You can see the one that I actually use and the new one that I made. Now, let's run away and see if it goes away. There it goes. And that's the basic how to set it up for buffs that are procs or whatever, because when items or spells proc, gear procs, it puts a buff on you. If you don't know the name of it, if you're trying to use a trinket or, or a trinket or something like that, you can put your cursor over it up here by your spells, and it'll say the name. Make a quick note before it wears off. Write it down, do whatever you got to do, and then you can make one for that. That's it.